Hello everyone. Welcome to the course Electronic Circuits and Analysis 1. Now we are in the unit Linear Wave Shaping Circuits. And our today's topic is response of RC low pass filter circuit to a ramp input. Okay. And the ramp input is graphically represented like this. And it is mathematically represented like this. Right. VI of t is equal to 0 for t less than 0. And is alpha t for t greater than 0. Right. So in particular at t is equal to capital T. My input is represented with capital V. So that means what is V is given as V is equal to alpha times capital T. Okay. V is given as alpha times capital T because input voltage is given by alpha T at T is equal to capital T. My input voltage, which is denoted by capital V is nothing but alpha times capital T. Right. So when this input is applied to this circuit, which is already known to you, which is an RC low pass filter circuit, then we are interested in finding what is the output voltage. Okay. So our idea is taking the KVL across this circuit, then we need to find the Laplace transform on both sides. So that at the end, we'll be applying the inverse Laplace transform so that we'll be getting the expression for this V naught of T. Okay. So the idea is that, okay, using the Laplace transform and again, towards the end, applying the inverse Laplace transform, we are interested in finding the V naught of T, which is output voltage across the capacitor, right? When this kind of input signal is applied. Okay. So let's begin. So let us apply, let us apply KVL, right? Then what is that I can write? VI of T is equal to VR of T, that is voltage across the resistor, plus voltage across the capacitor is nothing but our output voltage, which is V naught of T, right? Okay. But we also know that the voltage across the resistor is given by I of T, which is the current that is flowing in the circuit into R plus V naught of T. Okay. But whatever the current that is flowing through R is the same current that is flowing through the capacitor also. And you know what is the current through the capacitor? I of T is equal to C into dv of t by dt what is the voltage across the capacitor nothing but voltage across the capacitor is v naught of t so dv naught of t by dt so this is the current equation right so current through the capacitor is given by this that we are already aware of right so let me uh, make this equation as one okay and let this equation be two so substituting equation two in equation one what is that I will be getting? VI of t is equal to VI of t is equal to in place of I of t, you substitute C into dV naught of t by dt. Okay. So what happens then? C into R into dV naught of t by dt plus V naught of t. Okay. So this is what is the equation I will be getting. Right. Okay. So, uh, but you know that V i of t is equal to alpha t. Okay. For t greater than 0, V i of t is alpha t. So, that is equal to C r into d v naught of t by d t plus v naught of t. This is all valid for t greater than 0. Because only for t greater than 0, V i of t is equal to alpha t. Right. Okay. Now you apply Laplace transform on both sides. Okay. Apply Laplace transform on both sides. Right. Laplace transform on both sides. What happens when we apply Laplace transform on both sides? When we apply Laplace transform on both sides, the Laplace transform of T is 1 by S square is equal to CR 
into Laplace transform of a derivative function, which is given by S into capital V naught of S. You all know that Laplace transform of an X of T is capital X of S. Okay, in a similar way, Laplace transform of small V naught of T is capital V naught of S. Okay, plus Laplace transform of V naught of T is capital V naught of S. Okay, so upon applying Laplace transform on both sides, we'll be getting alpha into 1 by S square is equal to CR into S into V naught of S plus V naught of S. Okay, right? Okay. So I'll take V naught of S common, okay, into 1 plus SRC is equal to alpha by S square. Okay, so when I take V naught of S common, I'll be getting 1 plus SRC is equal to alpha by S square. Okay, so V naught of S into, I'll be taking RC outside. Okay, so I'll be taking this RC outside. Then I can write S plus 1 by RC. Okay, then I can write S plus 1 by RC. That is equal to alpha by S square. Right? Okay. So now what I'll be doing is, I'll uh, keep my V naught of S onto the left hand side. And I'll make everything onto the uh, right hand side. Okay, then how I can write RC into S square into S plus 1 by RC. Okay, and I'll bring this RC onto the left hand side. So that what is that I can write V naught of S into RC is equal to alpha by S square into S plus 1 by RC. Right? alpha by s square into s plus 1 by rc now what is all that you have to do is okay this is the right hand side term okay so i will be making my right hand side term onto the one side so that now i can make use of the partial fractions equal to i can write it as a by s square plus b by s plus c by s plus 1 by rc okay so i'll repeat again here on the left hand side i'm having alpha by s square into s plus 1 by rc on the right hand side i am having a into s plus 1 by rc plus b into s plus 1 by rc into s plus c into s square whole divided by s square into s plus 1 by rc okay so when i cancel the denominators now i can equate the numerators the coefficient of s here coefficient of ssa s square here and so on okay so for that what i'll be doing is i'll be collecting all the terms of uh, s square coefficients of s square coefficient of s and constant terms okay so I'll bring out all the coefficients of S square onto one side and then coefficients of S onto the other side, right? Then uh, I'll make the constant at one side, okay? So this is what I'll get when I collect all the coefficients of S square, S and constants. Now I can equate the left hand side and the right hand side, the constant terms. What is the constant term in the right hand side? A by RC. That is equal to alpha. Okay. So I will write A by RC. A by RC is equal to okay, alpha. So that implies A is equal to alpha times 
rc okay a is equal to alpha times rc from the next term a plus b by rc this is the coefficient of s okay but what is the coefficient of s in the left hand side zero so this i can make it equal to zero then i can write that b is equal to minus a rc okay but what is a here a is alpha times rc so when i replace a with alpha times rc i can write here as alpha into r square c square okay so i got a is equal to this right i got b is equal to minus alpha times r square c square right and there is another term when i make it equal to zero that is s square coefficient b plus c as no s square coefficient on the left hand side i'll make it equal to zero then i can write that c is equal to minus b that is nothing but alpha times r square c square because b is equal to minus alpha times r square c square okay so now i got all the uh, terms a b c which i have assumed earlier now i can replace in my output voltage equation we got a as alpha times rc we got b as how much is b minus alpha times r square c square and c is equal to plus alpha times r square c square so when i substitute all these things okay when i substitute all these things v not of s into rc is equal to alpha rc by s square minus b value is alpha r square c square by s plus c value is alpha r square c square by s plus 1 by rc okay can i cancel rc on uh, both sides rc on the left hand side rc on the right hand side i will cancel then i was i am left with v not of uh, s is equal to okay i am left with v not of s is equal to alpha by s square minus alpha rc by s plus alpha rc by s plus 1 by rc okay so when i cancel out rc on both sides i am left with this equation okay so now i'll take inverse laplace transform on both sides taking inverse laplace transform on both sides okay taking inverse laplace transform on both sides right when i take the inverse laplace transform inverse laplace transform of capital v not of s is v not of t right that is equal to alpha t because inverse laplace transform of 1 by s square is t right so minus alpha into rc is tau inverse laplace transform of 1 1 by s is constant plus alpha tau i am i am replacing my rc with tau okay i am replacing my rc with tau right so that 1 by s plus 1 by rc or tau okay its inverse laplace transform is e power minus t by tau okay e power minus t by tau so overall i can write it as alpha t minus alpha tau into 1 minus e power minus t by tau okay so this is what is the output voltage equation of an rc low pass filter circuit when a ramp input signal is applied okay so this is a very very important output voltage equation which we have obtained uh, in a different way unlike our earlier way where we have made used of the output voltage equation v not of t is equal to vf minus vf minus vi into e power minus of t minus ti by tau here we have made use of the laplace transform okay we have applied the kvl we got the relationship between the input voltage and the output voltage and thereby we applied the laplace transform on both sides then finally at the end we applied the inverse laplace transform then thereby we got the equation like this 
okay so alpha t which is nothing but your input only the ramp input signal which you have represented is alpha t only right minus alpha tau into this expression i think you can remember that this expression is something like your charging expression standard charging expression v into 1 minus e power minus t by tau standard charging equation right so my output is not exactly equal to alpha t which is same as the input signal but your input signal is getting reduced by how much amount by this much amount and it is dependent on what it is dependent on your if it is constant then it is varying exponentially okay right okay so just like the earlier case uh, here also we'll consider two cases case number 1 right case number 1 is tau is much less than capital t okay tau is much less than capital t when tau is much less than capital t what do you say about uh this capital t by tau that is t by tau is a very very large okay so what is that i can say t by tau is much greater than 1 okay when t by tau is much greater than 1 i can neglect this particular exponential term okay so as this is very small for this condition e power minus capital t by tau is almost negligible right for this condition this exponential term is almost negligible so when i neglect this exponential term then what is the output voltage equation i will be getting v not of t is equal to this alpha t minus alpha tau into 1 minus 0 this term is going to become 0 so 1 minus 0 is 1 so alpha tau into 1 is alpha tau okay so that is equal to alpha into t minus tau is what is your output voltage equation when tau is much less than capital t okay when tau is much less than capital t then your output voltage equation is given by like this okay so that is alpha t is nothing but your input where alpha tau is some factor with which your output is getting reduced compared to your input okay or in particular at t is equal to capital t okay what is your output is at t is equal to capital t my output is alpha into capital t minus tau okay right okay let me show you how does the output waveform is going to look like you all have already seen that that my input waveform is going to look something like this which is a, a ramp input signal my input signal is a ramp input signal at t is equal to capital t my input is represented with v which is nothing but alpha times capital t right so now when you plot this particular thing okay so this is nothing but alpha times capital t minus alpha tau so that means my output is same as the input okay my output is same as the input but it is getting deferred by an amount which is given by this alpha tau okay how much is this difference is this difference is this difference is alpha tau your output is not same as the input your output is getting deviated from the input by an amount given by alpha tau okay for each value of t your uh, output is getting decremented from the input so that means your input is not exactly this is your input but your output is getting deviated from your input and that particular amount is in particular alpha tau okay where alpha is the slope of this particular curve right so this is your input and this is my output okay so my v not of t is this one is this okay so we have considered one case which is tau is much less than capital t for which you have assumed that the exponential term is zero with which you got the equation as alpha into t minus tau in particular at t is equal to capital t you got the output voltage equation as alpha capital t minus alpha tau and when i try to plot the output voltage equation it is going to look like this okay so there is some deviation when compared to your input signal when you observe your output signal right okay what is case number 2 tau is much greater than capital t okay and tau is much greater than capital t this time i cannot neglect my 
exponential term because exponential term is not negligible now. You all know that e power x is equal to 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus so on. Okay. So what is the exponential term we have in our equation? In our equation, we got e power minus t by tau. So when I expand using this expansion, okay. So what is that I can have? What is that I can have is 1 plus x is minus t by tau plus x square is minus t by tau whole square by 2 factorial plus so on, okay. I'll be considering only first two terms so that all other terms can be neglected, okay. This itself is very small. When I square them, it is automatically going to be neglected, okay. So I'll be using only the first two terms. So when I substitute in my output voltage equation, what is my output voltage equation is alpha t minus alpha tau into 1 minus e power minus t by tau, okay. Earlier, for tau is much less than capital T, I have neglected this exponential term and my output voltage equation is given by alpha t minus alpha tau. This time this is not negligible for the taken condition, okay. Capital T by tau is much less than, much less than 1, then this cannot be neglected, okay. So this is large means e power minus infinity is 0, so this can be neglected. When this is small means I cannot neglect, so that is why I was making use of this e power x expansion, right. So let us substitute in that equation. So alpha t minus alpha tau into 1 minus in place of e power minus t by tau, I will be substituting this, okay. Then what is that I can write? 1 minus t by tau plus t square by tau square by 2, okay. I will be considering only these terms, right. So that I can write it as that I can write it as alpha t minus alpha tau into minus uh, 1 minus 1 is going to get cancelled. So minus into minus plus uh, t by tau minus t square by 2 tau square, okay. So that is equal to alpha t minus this tau and this tau gets cancelled and it is alpha t plus alpha this tau and this tau gets cancelled and it is given by t square by 2 tau, okay. So that I will cancel these two. My output voltage is given by, my output voltage is given by alpha t square by 2 tau, okay. So my output voltage when tau is much greater than capital T, it is given by alpha t square by 2 tau, okay, alpha t square by 2 tau. So in particular, in particular at t is equal to capital T, what is V naught of t? V naught of t is given by alpha times capital T square by 2 tau, okay. So now it is a square term, earlier it is only a linear term, now it is a square term. So that means your output is going to get deviated further for this particular case when tau v is much greater than capital T, okay. So if I try to plot the output waveform here, okay, if I try to plot the output waveform here, this is my input voltage, right, it's going to be like this, okay. So when I try to plot the output waveform, it is going to be very much deviated, okay. So your output is very much deviated. So this is what is my output voltage is. Right. This is for a case tau is much greater than capital T. Right. For tau is much greater than capital T, right, your output voltage is much deviated from your actual input voltage. Okay. Right. Okay. So we have derived the expression for we have derived the expression for the output voltage when the input signal is a pulse input signal. And we have seen two important cases, right? So now I'm going to define an important term called as transmission error, okay? An important term called as transmission error. What is this transmission error? It is denoted by ET, okay? 
transmission error is denoted by et right it is defined as et is equal to vi of t minus v not of t by vi of t okay so what is my vi of t is alpha t minus what is my v not of t is alpha t minus alpha tau this is a case when my tau is much less than capital t only in that particular case my output is going to be not getting too much deviated from the input signal so that is why i have considered that case uh, where my output is going to be very much close to my input signal right then uh, i am trying to find out what is the what is the equation for my transmission error okay so what is the transmission error means transmission error is giving an indication of how much amount of okay your output is getting deviated from the linearity your input is actually a linearly related okay so your output is getting deviated from the linearity so this transmission error is going to determine how much deviation it is getting from its linearity okay so et is equal to okay et is equal to tau by small t okay so transmission error is defining deviation from linearity okay it is defining it defines deviation from deviation from linearity okay it is defining deviation from linearity okay right so what is the transmission error is given by transmission error is given by et is equal to tau by t okay it is given by tau by t right what is tau you know you know that tau is equal to 1 by 2 pi f h what is f h is 1 by 2 pi r c right 1 by 2 pi r c where r c is nothing but the tau okay so when i make use of this tau equation which is nothing but 1 by 2 pi f h in this transmission error expression then what is my transmission error is given by transmission error is given by 1 by 2 pi f h into 1 by capital t it is okay right et is equal to tau by t tau is nothing but 1 by 2 pi f h capital t means at t is equal to at small t is equal to capital t okay so at small t is equal to capital t your transmission error is given by okay 1 by 2 pi f h capital t okay so the larger the capital t the smaller the transmission error is okay the larger the capital t the smaller the transmission error is right